News Corp out after uh, uh, the bell there with earnings, uh, some impressive numbers, revenue coming in better than expected, $8.11 billion. Joining us now on the phone with more on the media giant's earnings is Christopher Morangi, an analyst at Gabelli and Company. Uh, they have a hold on the stock on the analyst side, on the uh, asset management side. News Corp is among the top 10 holdings of the firm's uh, multimedia trust, which has gained 41% in the past year, uh, more than three times the S&P 500 index. So they've done well with it. Uh, Chris, thanks for joining us. Let me ask you first of all about, you know, we've been talking about advertising spending on the rise. Time Warner uh, did well with it, and now we see News Corp doing even better. Is, is big media back here? Is it a resurgence? Oh, advertising is certainly back. It's the revenge of Mad Men. Um, we saw, as you pointed out, uh, solid advertising numbers from Time Warner, Discovery, CBS, and now followed up by News Corp which had strong numbers on the local television front, up 29%, and on the cable front, up 11%. So what is this? Is it, is it corporate America flush with cash, spending money uh, to try and uh, raise their own, bottom, uh, their own top line as best they can? It is. Much of it, especially on the local side, is a return of auto uh, advertising, uh, which was down over 50% uh, last year. And, and um, uh, Americans need to buy cars, and, and they need to be encouraged which cars to buy. So. You're seeing a return of of, ads, of uh, auto, but as other categories as well. So, if this is the case, why only a hold rating on the stock? Well, basically, we preferred uh, some of the other uh, media companies out there, including Viacom and, and Time Warner. We like their business mixes a little bit better. News Corp, a bit diverse with their exposure to to print uh, and uh, international distribution with uh, with Sky Italia. Do you think News Corp uh, bit off too much? Bit off more than it could uh, chew here, as far as print is concerned. I know. I think, you know, listen, Rupert Murdoch has the ink in his veins. Um, they know how to run these businesses, and uh, you know I think they're they're taking some very solid steps to to make uh, to improve the profitability, uh, and those are being led in, in large part by Chase Carey, who uh, came from uh, Directv and who was trying to figure out how to turn what were formerly advertising businesses into more of subscription related businesses. So, so the story with News Corp that they don't want to give away content, you have to pay for it. How does that uh, experiment really? the entire media world watching uh, how Rupert Murdoch does, how does it look like it's doing from this earnings report? Well, I think it's a little early to tell based on, on this earnings report, but, um, you know, it, it, uh, uh, the Wall Street Journal, even before the acquisition um, by News Corp, uh, it did well with their paywall. It's one of the, it's a, it's a, obviously a dominant brand, um, and, um, and they're making hay. All right. Hey, Chris, thanks so much for joining us. Chris Marenghi there from Gabelli and Company is a hold rating on News Corp shares. Better than expected earnings and revenue, and they hold the stock as well on the asset management side of the business. Lizzie?